Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how quick and easy it is to set up a WordPress website. So we're gonna be going through and getting hosting and then setting up our WordPress website so that we have basically the, the beginning stages of creating our professional business website. This video is actually taken from a portion of a video that I am publishing about how to create a professional business website. It's about a 37 minute video. So if you want that full video, then you could just watch that video. I'll put it in the video description here. But otherwise, if you're looking, hey, I just need to set up hosting in WordPress, then this video will be all you need. So let's get into it. We're gonna be using Hostinger. I think it's pronounced Hostinger, Hostinger, Hostinger. So if you do need a host for your WordPress website, go to surfsidepppc.com slash Hostinger. That will actually support my channel, so I will get a small commission if you do decide to use Hostinger. It has been a great platform for me. I recommend it above all the other web hosts that I've used, and the pricing is honestly really affordable. So it's one of those things where I use Hostinger, I'm switching all of my websites to Hostinger, and I'm actually gonna have videos of me doing that. So basically, Hostinger has been much better for me than any of the other web hosts that I've used, and the pricing is, is some of the best that I've seen across all of the different options that you have. So if you do go to surfsidepppc.com slash Hostinger, you will get whatever their best po best possible promotion is. So right now it's up to 80% off hosting for WordPress. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is building a professional WordPress website for my fake law firm, Surfside Law Firm. So I'm gonna show you a very easy way to get started. Even if you have no experience building websites, you can follow along with this method and build a website for your own business. So let's go to surfsidepppc.com slash Hostinger. That will bring you directly to this page here. Now from here, you can choose any of the different hosting plans they have. You have hosting for WooCommerce, hosting for WordPress. The hosting plan that I would honestly recommend for a lot of people is VPS hosting, just because the pricing is really isn't that high. And if we scroll down here, you can get a a really good server for a really low price. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be doing the WordPress option. I will have a separate video out about the VPS hosting. I will put it in the video description in case you're interested in following along with that video. But what we can do here is if we go to WordPress, we're gonna choose hosting for WordPress. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we have a few different options that we can choose from. So to me, premium is the, the lower tier option in terms of the different WordPress plans. I would honestly recommend one of these top two plans. For this specific video, I'm gonna be doing the business plan, mainly because this is not a hosting plan that I plan on keeping. This is not a website that I'm gonna be keeping live. I don't really need to book a 48 month term for this because I have a VPS hosting plan where I can host my websites and I'd rather use a VPS host. If I were just to host one single local business website or local company website, like something like a Surfside Law Firm website, then generally what I would do is I would just use the Cloud Startup WordPress plan here, and that would be more than enough resources that you need. You're not gonna get over 200,000 monthly visits for your local business website unless you are doing some serious traffic generation. So in this example, I'm gonna be doing the business plan. So we're just gonna choose this plan and it'll bring us to the page where we could actually pay for everything and get started with our hosting account. So what we wanna do, I would highly recommend doing a long period of time. So when you do a long period of time like this, 48 months, they're showing $3.49 per month. $167 for 48 months of web hosting. You really can't beat that. I would recommend going with the higher plans, paying a little more for a little better service. But what I'm gonna be doing here, since I'm just doing this as an example, I'm gonna be doing the one month period and we're not gonna get a domain. That's perfectly fine. We'll still be able to build our website. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on continue. Okay, so now I need to create an account. So I'm gonna create, sign in with my one of my Google accounts. Okay, so you can see right here, my total due today is gonna to be around $19. So I'm gonna go through this process, fill out my information, fill out my payment, and then I will pick up the video from there. Okay, my payment is done. Now it's saying, let's go. Let's set up our services right away to start using them. My total amount paid for one month of service is $20. So we're gonna get started here. It'll automatically redirect us. Hey, hello, who is this website for? Let's do myself or my business next. Plan to create a website next. Okay, so now we're gonna be creating login details for our WordPress account. So my WordPress admin email, I used a different email than mine, and I'm gonna set my password here. Okay, so we have our password, let's click on next. Okay, now it's gonna say create a website with AI or pre-built websites and themes. So you can do some of these, but I'm gonna create a blank site. We just wanna use a, a blank site and I'm gonna use a temporary domain. If you have a domain, set that now. So it's worth setting your domain up. Don't use a temporary domain. If you have a different Hostinger plan, if you do a 12 month or longer plan, you will get a free domain with it. Or if you have an existing domain, you wanna use that for your account. Make sure that you map your domain to your website. 
where is your target audience located from here you kind of want to look at what is the closest data center that they have to your audience so i'm located around here in south carolina and closer to massachusetts and arizona so we're going to choose the united states massachusetts Data center runs on 100% renewable energy. So basically wherever you are, you wanna choose the closest data center that they have in the United States to select which one is closer to you. Let's click on next here. And now we are installing WordPress. Okay, so you should get to a page that looks like this. And this is the back end of our WordPress website. This is our WordPress dashboard. So in here, if we click on visit site, we can see what our website looks like right now. Very, very basic website. You can see it's, it's usually using the WordPress 2025 theme. Okay, so that's what we have 2025. Okay, so if we come back over to our WordPress dashboard. Now, if you're ever wondering, how do I get to my WordPress dashboard? Generally, what you're gonna do is go to your website slash WP admin you'll see it up here at the top and that's where you can sign in. The other option is if you go to your actual hosting or plan and you sign in, you'll see your business web hosting here or whichever web hosting plan that you picked and you can select WordPress admin and it'll bring you right back into your dashboard. Generally, it'll bring you into the uh, hosting or page on your dashboard, but you'll be able to get back into your administrative area where you can actually create posts, create pages. You may have noticed I have some different plugins set up here, some different themes installed and everything like that. So we actually, did a full video and then I came back here to basically show you, okay, if you're, you just set up your WordPress website, you're trying to create a professional business website. This was the website that I ended up creating and we did it pretty quickly in the video. So if you're interested in setting up a quick business professional website, I would recommend watching the full video. Just wanted to highlight this here because you may get to the point where I ended the video basically showing, okay, here are the three different main WordPress themes that come with WordPress. And now basically you have your WordPress website ready to work with. There's a few small things you can do to basically get a shell of a website. So this will be a, just this video, the whole purpose is here is how to set up hosting, here is how to set up your WordPress website to take it that step further and to actually have a professional looking business website. Now mind you, you can make it look even a lot better than this, this is a quick, quick way that I made a website, but you'll see every single page, it looks like a nice page. It's not something where, you know, people would land on this website and think that it's some low quality website or anything like that from, you know, the about page to the contact page, pretty consistent. Uh, the footer would definitely be something we'd have to redesign and we'd obviously have to get our logo in here and everything. But if you're looking to build a professional website, I'd highly recommend watching that 37 minute video. Again, if you're looking for hosting, surfsideppc.com slash hostinger. Thank you for watching my video today. If you're not sure what plan you should pick for hosting, I generally recommend choosing one of these two cloud plans. Um, I'm going to be using a VPS plan just because it gives me more resources, but the cloud startup, cloud professional makes it really easy. Built-in managed WordPress hosting, and you can easily, from your hosting or dashboard, basically come here, add a website, create a new WordPress website, and go through the entire process. It'll take you all of about a minute or two to basically uh, to set these up. So if you wanted to set up another WordPress website, you could do that. You could use, they have AI built in. You could use some of their pre-built websites and themes. We just created a blank site for this example. So go through the entire process, choose whichever you're most comfortable with. You generally have multiple websites you can set up. So you could always set up some temporary websites and then map your domain to them. So try, try to figure out a website that's gonna be a nice design for you. And hopefully this video has been helpful in getting you set up with your WordPress website and your WordPress hosting for the next, uh, the next four years. So uh, thank you for watching my video and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.